girls, welcome to the Crafty Corner. I'm Miss Lisa, and we're here at the Fayette County Public Library. <gasps> Hi, boys and girls, I'm a ninja puppet. Yeah, yeah, look at me kick. Look, I can even do the splits. Ah! All right, boys and girls, my puppet can even wave to you. It can talk to you. We are going to be making this awesome ninja puppet today. So let's grab a packet from the table over here and let me show you what we have to do to make this awesome puppet. So the only thing that you need is a pair of scissors, um, a hole puncher would be best, and some white glue. In your packet you are going to have a uh, paper bag and you are going to have some black um, construction paper. You are going to have four little paper fasteners and two big wiggly eyes so that your ninja can see you very, very well. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paper bag, and I've already cut a piece of black paper that's gonna fit exactly where you need it. And so the first thing we're gonna need to do is take our white glue, and remember what we talked about, boys and girls, when we use white glue, we scribble, 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 we make sure we get along the edges so it doesn't curl up. We do not put a big glob of glue anywhere. We scribble it on there so it covers the whole area. All right, so then take the piece of paper that matches that size and just glue it right down. And there we go. Okay, that is our ninja body. All right, now to make his mask across his face. You're going to take your black paper and you're going to sort of measure how far it is. And if you had a pencil, it might be good to mark it. So I'm just going to cut a little bit here. I'm going to make a rectangle. And then I'm going to cut my rectangle in half. Okay. Now you want to leave some space for the eyes. So let's see if I've left some space. No, I really haven't. So I'm going to lay the two pieces of paper on top of each other again so that they're going to be exactly the same size. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of it off, trying to cut as nice and straight as possible, which is not always possible. It's a little crooked, but that's all right. Most masks don't go on just straight, do they? Okay, so then I have this empty space here for his eyes. Again, you're going to use your white glue and scribble that on. Make sure you have enough to glue on the mask of the ninja face. Okay, let's glue the bottom one on. And then, or now, when we glue the wiggly eyes, you can make a glob of glue if you want to. Circle, 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 make that big glob of glue so that that eye sticks right there. Okay. So now we have our two eyes. Now we need to cut out arms and legs. Now you want the legs to be longer than the eye, or <laughs> the eyes, the longer than the arms. So I'm gonna come over here and let's see what I wanna do. Um, go ahead and cut a rectangle out and I'm actually going to fold it and fold it. That way I have four exact sections all the same. So I'm just going to cut this in half, cut this one in half. Right, this is a good way to make sure all your paper is the same. Now that's a pretty big thick leg for a ninja, isn't it? So we don't need it that thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it a little skinnier. I think our ninja needs to be in shape. If he's gonna be doing all those kicks and those moves, he needs to be in shape. All right, so now we're gonna have our legs. Now the arms are not gonna be quite as long as the legs. So let's go ahead and just cut off about a half of inch there. So then we can put the arms on. Now here's the tricky part. You probably need moms and dads to help you use your hole puncher. You're going to go through the construction paper and the paper bag. So you're gonna put a hole punch here and a hole punch here. Okay, make sure it goes all the way through. And now for the arms, you want to make sure that you don't go through all the bag. You only need this first layer of bag. So we're gonna put a hole punch in there and a hole punch. Try to put it right across from where you were before. Okay. Now, here's where you're gonna use your paper fastener. Oh, you're actually gonna to have to hole punch the arms and legs too. So let's go ahead and put a hole there. We're gonna put our paper fastener in the one hole and in that other one and flip it over and open the paper fastener. Okay, so now we have one arm in place. 
We just need to do that for the other ones. So we'll put the paper fastener in here, flip it over, pull that part open. Woo, now we can make him do all kinds of waves. Now we're ready to help him get his legs on so that he can do his kicks and be a ninja. Now behind me, boys and girls, I've got lots of books here at the library that have ninja as their topic. If you come to the library, you can get one of these books and read about ninjas. All right. Maybe some of you have even dressed up as a ninja for Halloween at one time. Pretty cool characters. If you want to read and study about it, come here to the library and grab a book. All right, got the, almost this last leg on. There we go. All right, there's ninja number two. Now, boys and girls, I have ninja twins. Woohoo! All right, boys and girls, please come to the library. I've made lots of great packets for you so that you can make your own paper bag puppet ninja. Woohoo! All right, boys and girls, come to the library and see me and come get these packets. Thanks for watching the Crafty Corner. And I'll see you again next time for another crafty, um, another craft here at the Crafty Corner. All right. Ooh, wah. Chop, chop.